Hello everyone, welcome to Come Sit at My Table. We're Tom and Melissa and we really do appreciate that you're joining us for our video today. We're going to make something extremely simple. I'll tell you a little story about how we first made this. Years and years ago, our youngest daughter, Caroline and I, were in Costco and of course, you know they hand out samples. It's one of my favorite reasons we go to Costco. But they were giving out meatballs. So Caroline and I each got a little sample of the meatball and we were eating it. There happened to be a guy standing behind us and he said, these are really good if you put them in a slow cooker and stir together a can of cranberry sauce and a jar of Heinz chili sauce. Pour over them, let them cook for a couple of hours. Well, I had heard of people doing this, but we had never done it. So after we walked away from the sample table, our daughter, who I think was probably about 10 or 12 at the time, said, Dad, can we make that? Can we try that? So we ended up buying a bag of meatballs. We got a jar of chili sauce and a can of cranberry sauce. And we made them, I think, the very next day. And she absolutely loved them. So it's been something that we've made a lot over the years, but you know, this is a really versatile dish. You can use it a lot of ways. It's really good as a main course. You can serve it over egg noodles, cooked egg noodles. You can serve it with mashed potatoes. It goes great with mashed potatoes, or you can serve it just like as an appetizer. It's really good to fix and put in a bowl and just let people pick at them, eat them as an appetizer. So this is a really versatile dish. Let me tell you that in place of the cranberry sauce, you can use an equal amount of grape jelly. It's a little bit of a sweeter dish if you use the grape jelly. It's delicious. We really like it that way too. But I kind of prefer it with the cranberry sauce because it has a little bit of a tang to it. So you can fix it either way, grape jelly or with the cranberry sauce. You'll need about 14 ounces of grape jelly in place of the 14 ounces of cranberry sauce. But either way works. It does go into a crock pot and it's going to cook for a couple of hours. If your crock pot has a medium setting, I would suggest putting it on medium. Ours does not, it has high and low. I don't like to cook it on high because the couple of times I tried that, they kind of stuck on the bottom. And so, I, you know, I don't want that to happen. So I do it on low. I check them at two hours. If they need more time, I will do that. All right, so guys, this is really simple. You're just going to take your chili sauce and put it into your bowl. And you want to get as much of that out as you possibly can. Get it all out of there. This is what your sauce is going to be and you want plenty of sauce on those meatballs. So get everything out that you can get out. Then I'm going to open my can of cranberry sauce. I've always heard that if you will shake your can really hard before you open it. It comes out easier. That's never really proven true for me. So I always just have to dig it out. And we're gonna mix those two together. And I think the easiest way to do that is with a whisk. I'm just going to kind of chop up my cranberry sauce a little bit with my whisk. and then just whisk that together. You don't have to do it until it's completely incorporated. Trust me, that cranberry sauce will melt in the crock pot. They will blend, but it's just, it's nice to get them at least partly incorporated. Okay. Then, we're just going to open our meatballs. Oh, sorry. This is a three pound bag of meatballs. It's 48 ounces. You can see right there. But 
two pounds works okay too. It'll just, you'll have more sauce on less meatballs. But, um, I mean, if you're gonna do it, why not make three pounds of it? Two to three pounds of meatballs is what you need. We're just gonna put those in and then we'll stir that together. Just wanna make sure your meatballs are covered. You want them to cook in that sauce and absorb some of it. And yes, they are going in frozen. You don't have to thaw them. Just add them frozen. They will thaw and cook in the slow cooker. So don't worry about thawing them out. Just take them straight out of the freezer. Now there's one that I don't like the looks of. Look at that. Nope, I'm getting rid of that. Okay, so they're pretty well covered. So now we're just going to go right into, I'm gonna get all this off my spoon. Do you spray your crock pot? You know, I probably should. I haven't yet, but yeah, I probably should do that. So, um, I did notice last time I used my nonstick spray that it was kind of low. So I probably need a new can. Let's see if I can find another can. There's a can. We'll just use this new one. If I can get it out of here. Okay. Yeah, let's. Let's spray that just a little bit. Maybe help them not stick too bad. And all we do is go right in with those meatballs. And of course, we want to scrape every bit of that sauce out of there. I'm sure most people have at least heard of this, and a lot of you have probably made this. It's so simple, it's so easy to do, and you can do it ahead of time. And here's another nice thing. If you have a bunch left over, well, first off, you probably won't. There won't be much left. But if you do, they keep really well in the refrigerator. You can just put them in a a um, container and put them in the refrigerator and they will stay just fine for quite a while. I like them for a snack. I just take a few out at a time, heat them in the microwave and have them as a snack. And you know, if push comes to shove and you've got a bunch left, you can put them back in the freezer. They will freeze just fine. Put them in Ziploc freezer bags or vacuum seal them, which I think is probably even better, and put them in the freezer. Okay, we're going to put our lid on. I'm doing it on low, but again, if you have a medium setting, I would suggest that. I need to wash my hands. I have chili sauce on me. Now, we are going to cook this for probably two hours, hour and a half to two hours, I'll check them. Then you want to remove the lid for the last 30 minutes. That way that sauce can kind of thicken, you'll have some evaporation occur and the sauce will thicken and kind of coat the meatballs a little better. So just when you think they're about done, check them if they are, then leave that lid off for the last 30 minutes. All right, we'll be back when they're ready. Our meatballs were in the slow cooker for two hours. I took the lid off and have let them continue to cook for another 30 minutes so that the sauce would thicken and they are ready for us to eat. So let's have one. Of course, there is some sauce down the bottom. I should have probably should have shown this. You can see that there is still some sauce down in there. So if you want to stir that up and get that sauce all over them, I'm gonna take that one right there that's got sauce on it. And maybe one more. Probably need at least two, don't I? I guess just to make sure that they're <laughs> high quality. Well, you know, anything for our subscribers. <laughs> okay, here we go.
Mm. Those are really good. I think I said earlier that cranberry sauce gives it just a little bit of a tang. It's got just a little bit of a cranberry taste. I think if you did it, well, no, if you do it with the grape jelly instead of the cranberry sauce, it'll have a sweeter taste to it. And both are really good. It's delicious. Great for an appetizer, but they're really good as your main dish over egg noodles too. Thank you so much for watching our videos. We are so appreciative to those of you who stay with us and keep watching our videos and those of you that make really nice comments on our pages. We just, we really appreciate that. Please remember to go right below the video and give us a thumbs up. If you've not already, go over on this side and click that subscribe button and the little notification bell next to it and the word all. That just allows YouTube to notify you when we put up a new video. Remember that right below the video, you'll see the title of this recipe. If you click where that title is, that box will expand. Melissa always puts the written recipe there for you so you have it written out. You can just copy and paste it if you want to print it or you can just come back and find it there anytime. It'll always be there. Also, our contact information is right below that recipe. All right, thank you so much for watching our videos and especially those of you who have subscribed. We appreciate it more than we could possibly tell you. And we want you to always remember, you are always welcome to come sit at my table. Have a great day.